Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to factor the difference of two squares. Okay. So there is a rule or formula you use to factor the difference of two squares. Again, it doesn't work for the sum of two squares. So if you were the sum of two squares, you have to use imaginary number, imaginary number. Okay. For but here, okay, you have how do we factor the difference of two squares? Okay. What you want to do first, you want to draw two empty factors like this. Okay, and in such each of them, you have to either write the minus or the plus sign. So I like to start the first factor, the minus, and the other, the plus. And the reason is we want to cancel out the middle terms, okay? So if you were to distribute, so the minus and the plus will make the middle term opposite of each other. So they, they can be canceled out. So now you have a difference of two squares. If you have two numbers that can be written as a square and they're separated by the subtraction sign, you can factor it. Okay. And how do we factor? Alert, alert, alert. Okay, I need your attention. So remember to whatever you're going to write inside the parenthesis in the factor, you have to drop the exponent of two. So basically you're going to write what you, the first factor I'm going to use a and then b and the second one a and b. Okay, and if you want, it's always true. And we can apply the distributed property twice, so you can see what I mean. So let's do a times a, you get a square. A times um, b is going to be positive a b. Negative, negative b times positive a is going to be negative a b. And negative b times uh, positive b is going to be negative b square. Okay, and you can see the middle term are, opposite, are the same but the sign are, are, are opposite. So we call them opposite. So they can be cancelled out. So we are left with a square minus b square. So I, I didn't put the arrows earlier. So, <clears throat> so to show you that to factor the difference of two square, draw two empty factor, okay? So, and make sure that in one, the first factor, like they have opposite sign. One is negative and one is opposite, uh, is positive and drop the exponent when you write them, okay? Because a times a is x squared. But if you do x squared times x squared, you end up with a to the fourth power, okay? So I hope it, this uh, is beneficial to you. So again, you're going to use uh, um, the this formula for the difference of two squared. So I want you to use this one. And let's try to factor this quadratic expression. x squared minus 16, okay? So please pause the video and solve, and I know solve, factor this quadratic expression. Okay, so you see, are we able to write those two terms as a square? Why four square is 16. So now I have a difference of two square. So you end up with what? I end up with, so you wanna write two empty factor. One is going to be minus, one is going to be a positive. And what are you going to write inside the parenthesis? So you're going to drop the square. So x and then 4, x and then 4. And that's your final answer, the factor, the difference of two square. Okay, let me give you another example. Okay, what about x square plus 25? Please go, go ahead and factor the, the, um, this expression, this quadratic expression. Okay, I hope you did not factor, okay? Because this is not factorable using, um, by using the real numbers. So you cannot use real numbers to factor this. You have to use imaginary numbers. And I didn't show you yet imaginary numbers. So again, you cannot use the, the formula. You cannot use this formula. Why? The formula only works for difference of two squares. Remember the word from the name, difference of two squares. It doesn't, it doesn't say sum of two squares. So remember, okay, this one gives us the sum. I gave you the sum. Okay, so you have to square by the sum. It's not factorable yet. So I would like to write not factorable yet. Okay, I like the word yet because um, it's, it's, it, you can factor out this quadratic expression, but you have to use imaginary numbers. Okay, so um, let's move on to another example. Okay, so my next example, can you please factor x squared minus 100? Please pause the video and factor it. Okay, so this is the final factor form. 
Okay, always remember to drop the square when you write it into a factor form. Okay, so thank you for listening. Uh, I hope this video was beneficial. Okay, so remember how we use a formula for difference of two square. Remember, you have to be the difference, not the sum. So you want to write two factor. And when you are uh, inside each factor, make sure one is at the sign of minus and the one the plus. And you want to rewrite each term without the square, the exponent of two. Okay, and it's only work for the difference, not the sum. Like this one here, it cannot be worked because it's a plus. So it's not factorable yet. Okay, so thank you. Bye.